Hello everybody, it's Lori and I'm going to show you real quick how to use your gels with dip powder. Um, I've gotten a couple questions about that, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make a quick video and share it with everybody. This is actually using Onyx with the gels. Um, there may be some instances where you have a favorite dip color that you want to incorporate into a gel mani, and this is the easiest and quickest way to do it. Just bear in mind that you cannot dip your finger into your dip powders. Number one, the gel will shift. Two, you will most likely contaminate your dip powder. So you do have to use the pour over method. You're gonna prime your nails the same way that you would if you're using the dip liquids, but then you apply a thin layer of gel and then you're gonna want to pour over. And as you can see, I use a cupcake liner to catch any over spill there so that I can just put it back in the bottle when I'm done with it. And it's super, super simple. You're not going to brush off. You're just going to tap off the excess and then cure it. And with a dark color, especially onyx, you're gonna wanna cure for the full two minutes so that the gel is not sticky or tacky so that when you go in to apply a second layer, you don't end up ruining your brush or getting a bunch of product onto your gel brushes. And also with the gels, um, I find that you only need two coats usually if you're doing dip especially with a dark color you might need more if you're doing a lighter color but typically you only need two coats if you're using a dark color and your gels and again you apply a thin layer and then you pour over and as you can see it absorbs a lot so you can go back over and you end up having a pretty thick layer so i only did two on this swatch stick and again, you're gonna to wanna to cure for the full two minutes because this is a dark color. So you can see here, I have now cured the second coat and I'm just going in with the brush to make sure that I 100% have gotten off any excess powder. You can see at the end of the swatch there ended up being a little bit that didn't stick. So make sure you cap your edges. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the top coat. And this top coat is so beautiful and so forgiving. It, spreads out evenly and nicely it does not clump up it's got to be one of my most favorite top coats that i've ever used with gel liquids so i can tell you from personal experience i absolutely love it you can see here actually go and make sure there's no extra little lumps or divots in it and on the swatch stick i only ended up putting one top coat now when i do my manicures i always apply two And on my left hand, I'm actually wearing You Can't See Me, and on my right hand, I have Copperhead on. I'm just showing you that the names of the base coat and the top coat are actually on the sides of the gel bottles. An example of the colors will be on the tops of the bottles, and the names will be on the bottom of the actual colors. And here's that finished swatch. Thanks for watching.